¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Una nueva edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Hoy tenemos una edición que estamos haciendo desde la carretera. Estamos transmitiendo desde Las Vegas a donde hemos venido a probar un par de modelos nuevos de la Volvo. Vamos a hablar con el presidente de Volvo en Norteamérica, Tony Nicolosi. También vamos a hablar con el jefe de ingenieros de tren motor de la Volvo, Jan Eric Larsen, que nos explique un poco la nueva estrategia de Volvo con motores de cuatro cilindros. Vamos a hablar con Ross Raider del Instituto de, In de Aseguradoras y Seguridad en las Carreteras sobre los resultados de las pruebas de mini cars, en la cual uno de 11 vehículos solamente pasaron esas pruebas. También con Nigel Francis, el Senior Automotive Advisor del State of Michigan, de, para hablar de la industria automotriz y el desarrollo que está teniendo en Detroit y con Scotty Reese, la fundadora de SheBuysCars.com Así que sin perder tiempo vamos a hablar con Tony Nicolosi, CEO de Volvo Cars North America. Um, Tony, thank you very much for having us here in uh, Las Vegas for a new launch of two new vehicles for Volvo, but uh, actually there's a lot of new things in Volvo. I mean, everything is new, right? We can say that. Yeah, I mean, it's a big trans, um, transformation underway, and uh, it really began with the sale um, of Volvo from Ford to Geely in August of 2010. That's when Volvo was purely um, independent and uh, not relying on a big uh, parent company. In the old days, it was the truck company, AB Volvo, and then it was Ford. So now they're, they're on their own, and with that, they have to develop all their new product architecture, all their new drivetrain technology. Um, so it's taking some time, but now we're starting to see those investments, and it's an 11 billion dollar investment that'll take place between 2010 and 2015. Yeah, and, and it's been a, a hard transition. I mean, it's, the industry went down. Uh, obviously, the Ford sold it for a reason. That yeah. They had their own problems too, and now, so it's a completely new ownership, so Geely, a Chinese group. And, yes. And, uh, but that's what the industry is coming about too, right? Uh, Jaguar and Land Rover are now owned by Indian company yes. Tata. They're very, being very, very successful. So it's more or less the same model here. Yes, and you'll see Volvo um, was sold a little later than Jaguar Land Rover. And you can see their products are coming to market now. And, and so we're a little behind them. Um, but on the same trajectory. So now you're seeing the V60 come out this year, our new Drive E engines coming out. And then later this year is when we'll start introducing our new XC90, which is off our new product platform. And then you'll see it go on sale in early 2015. Yeah. But what you have never lost is the loyalty of your customers. I mean, I, I posted a picture yesterday of one of the uh, cars out here. And immediately, I, lo I always love Volvo. Yeah. And, uh, I always wanted to see more of that. So that's a, a great element that Volvo has always yeah, had. Yeah, we have a great loyal customer base. And, um, and I think now we'll be able to strengthen that loyalty because now we have new products coming to them. Um, there was a period of time when we didn't come out with new products. So, you know, sometimes people get uh, tired of driving the same looking car. Well, that's not going to be the case anymore. So uh, if anything, I think we'll strengthen our loyalty in the future. Yeah. And uh, also uh, competition. I mean, competition has never stopped. So yeah. it's, it's tougher now. But uh, you have very unique uh, offerings now, especially with these new engines that you are, are yeah. using now. Yeah, these, these engines are no compromises. They'll be best in class in fuel economy, best in class in performance. And really what's important from a Volvo perspective is their, their uh, impact on the environment. Uh, they'll, they'll give off very few uh, CO2 emissions or greenhouse uh, gases. So and this is a new strategy to drop the big engines, like the six cylinders, yeah. the eight cylinders, and going with four cylinders, yes. but also... Uh, from what I, I just heard from the engineers and the experts here, is that these engines are very capable of being uh, coupled with other elements like um, hybrid cars, yes. electric cars. So it's, can you explain a little bit of that? Yeah, I mean, the first thing is um, this is a bold move by us to go to a four-cylinder engines. But we're not going to talk about cylinders because you can get the same power from a four-cylinder engine as you do from a six- and eight-cylinder engine. So it's really yeah. not about... Um, it's not about cylinders. It's about what um, what these engines can do. So you know, we like to say uh, less is more. They're lighter. They're more fuel efficient, but they give you the same driving pleasure. So that's really important. And then when we launch our new platform, starting with the XC90 in 2015, we'll also be able to couple these engines with plug-in hybrid electric technology. So we'll have electrification available with these engines as well, which will get which will drive these. We'll be able to get combined power up, up to 400 horsepower when you combine the the standard engine with the electrification and we'll get much better fuel economy yeah. 
And like people don't, don't realize, but Formula One cars used to have four cylinder uh, engines with 900 horsepower. Yeah, so you can do a lot. I mean, your engineers can do a lot with uh, with uh, what they know and they can apply to the which cars, which right? is amazing. People, uh, you know, just little engineering and computer technology and computer chips can drive so much horsepower to these smaller engines. It's it's fantastic. Yeah. And speaking of uh, technology, these new cars also have tons of new technology and uh, some some things that used to be only like. Really, very very expensive cars, but now you're introducing every, almost all, all these elements into these new cars. Yeah, and and one of the areas that we want to keep our leadership, and you'll see it really with the XC90 when we launched that in 2015, is our safety leadership. Um, we have a very bold vision that by the year 2020, that no one is killed or seriously injured in a Volvo, and and we're leaders in safety, and we're going to maintain that. So you'll see us come out with a lot of new, innovative safety technology. Uh, like nighttime pedestrian detection, animal detection, uh, roads uh, steer assist. So we're going to continue to be leaders in that. And then also in terms of connectivity, later in May we'll be launching um, what we call our Census Connector, our connected car, where it's almost like having your uh, iPhone in your car, what you can do with the car. Yeah, which is uh, what a lot of people are almost like expecting now yeah. in your car. They, they want to be connected all the time, so that's another great feature. Yeah. And um, one other thing, uh, we just came uh, from the Detroit Auto Show and we saw something really beautiful there. The concept XC, concept XC Coupe. Coupe. Oh my God, that thing was beautiful. What's uh, I mean, it's a concept car and I don't yeah, know what they are, but like, tell us a little bit about well, it. Well, I think the what you'll see in that car, I'd, I'd love to bring that car to market. It was gorgeous. But what you will see come to market is design elements in it. So when you look at that car and you look at the front grille and the hood of that car, you will see um, pieces of that in the XC90 and our future products. And the same thing with the rear of the car, our, our taillights and our headlights. You will see those design elements in our cars. So the, the car was beautiful, and the cars that we're going to be coming out with will be beautiful as well. Yeah. And uh, what can you tell, I mean, and we already talked about the product, how, how great they are. And uh, what can you tell to people uh, who are not your loyal uh, customers that had some skepticism about uh, about uh, Volvo being owned by a Chinese company on that. What can you, what will be the best for this? It's you know, it's it's Volvo. It is built by Volvo, it's engineered by Volvo. The ownership is just there as an ownership and it's a management board and, and uh, but in terms of running the business, it's Volvo and, and that's what I like to tell everybody. It's just no difference than uh, than Mercedes building cars in in Alabama. It's still a Mercedes. It's engineered by them. So, um, so really, the Chinese ownership—it's it, great. It's been really um, good for Volvo, healthy. Um, but you know, Volvo is still Volvo. There's no so change in who if, we are. The DNA. If you, if you keep doing what you know what to do, the cars, the fabulous car, the, the Scandinavian design, and all that, that you bring in the money, they'll be happy. With it, yeah, right? they're letting Volvo. The, the ownership is—they bought it for Volvo, and they're letting it be Volvo, which is very important. Yeah, it's, uh, it is. Uh, one last thing, uh, the, the European delivery program, is that still available? Because yes. Because my friend, when I when I posted that, I said, I want to do that. She did it a few years ago, and that's an exciting program. Because yeah, it's it's still available. I actually was in Sweden in October, and I was at the delivery center, and you see the excitement on these people when they come to the headquarters and pick up their car. They get Swedish meatballs for lunch. They get the whole experience. Yeah. So it's, yes, and it's still available, and it's a wonderful experience. And what's uh, the process for people who don't know about it? How, how can they get involved into that? They just well, go to a dealership? And yeah, I mean, or you, you could do it because the car will be delivered through a dealer. Uh, you'll pick it up in Europe, but then it's shipped back to the dealer of your choice. So you just go onto the Volvo's website, and there's a whole section on the Europe, uh, the, the tourist dipo, uh, I mean, tourist uh, delivery program. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again for, you. for your time and information. Congratulations thank on you. the uh, rebirth of Volvo. Uh, we're going to go out and drive these. Enjoy the cars. Thank You're you. going to love them. Thank Bye. you so much. That was great.